Hey musical architects! If you're recording your own music, you're probably recording live instruments as well, like vocals or guitars. And that can get messy. <laughs> Gotta be kidding! And that can get messy, because even with the best performance, we have to go there and edit, find the best parts, put them together into one cohesive track that sounds like a one performance. Thankfully, we have some really good tools in Logic that can help us speed up that process. Let's take a look at take folders and track alternatives as a great tool to be fast at comping. Let's check it out. Hey, welcome back. Recording live tracks wasn't always that easy. We used to create multiple tracks, so I would have multiple, say, bass tracks open, and then record an idea, and then record a second idea, and then a third and a fourth, and then cut and paste them together with the scissor tool and uh, try to come up with a good selection, a good comp, a composite. Logic made this much easier in the last year or so. So it all starts with creating a audio track and record enable them, plug in your instrument, plug in your microphone, setting good levels, and then recording over your track. Sometimes I just make an instrumental mix so I don't have to worry about too many tracks and it gets complicated and record over that. What I do like though is having more than one track open. So I have one track for recording. But sometimes we cannot hear what's on that track. If I put this part here, I can hear this playback. This live bass. But if I hit record, for example, I want to record the next section, I will not hear that bass because Logic cannot record and play back at the same time. Hit R. I have to guess where to pick up, how hard I hit the notes, how I sang the tone. So what I do is I make a duplicate of my track, Command D. So this is my duplicate. And let's call this playback. This track is always record enabled for recording purpose. This track is simply to play back the track. And the moment I have something I like, I move it down to that track. So here, I want to pick up from here, but I want to hear what's going on before. Hit R, and I hear the bass, and then punch in automatically. There is another function called punch in, and that would work as well. If I go Control, Option, Command, and P, this punch in, punch out button comes up, and I could say, Let's make a cycle within the cycle. I want to hear what's going on, but only punch in and punch out on the red area. That can be useful as well. So here, hit R, I can hear all that area before. And at the red section, I could punch in. So you just saw what happened. And instead of recording on multiple tracks, we can simply record over it. I recorded two ideas here, and you see them stacked inside a so-called take folder. The top part is not a track or a region itself, it's just a folder. The takes, the actual recordings underneath stacked. I can open and close this, or double click this top header. And then I can go in there and select the best parts by simply swiping over it. No need to change the tool, it's your pointer tool, and when you hover over it, this white line comes up and you can select things. You can simply click on it with the mouse and select it. So you can say take one, take two, and then make selections. And these selections we call comps. So here I could go and find where the best parts are and where the best transition, transitions are. Not in the middle of a sound, but right before is when cleanest cuts are made. Let's say I have a good selection, but I want to mess with a second option or a third option. I can take this comp A and duplicate, and then choose maybe a different variation here. This is just the bass, but when it comes to vocals, it's really handy because we often have quite a few good selections or options. So once I select a couple different things, I can then go and listen to them in context. Do I like A better or comp B? Or do I simply want the full take one? This is what this menu is all about. Okay, let's say you've done that and then you realize later on, yeah, that chord has to change or I want to play this a little bit more dynamically. With a take folder, I can put it here on my recording track and record back into it. 
but then now I don't hear it again. I want to record that last bar into the middle eight again. I want to hear this and then pick it up from here, but later make that one comp. So I'm going to hit record. We test, test, test. So this will be my bass, and I want to add this to the take folder. I can drag it into it. The one thing you have to pay attention though is that your drag mode is in overlap mode. No overlap means nothing can be on top of each other and this would delete that part of the take folder. However, in overlap you can stack things. You see there's two takes, I'm going to add my third take to that. Later on I could add a fourth take to that. And then I can go back here and comp it and choose the parts, including the new sections. Sometimes you realize that you cut off a little bit here, something that you might need, like a pickup into the, into the middle eight, for example, here. Um, I can stretch this out, but where is that information of what I played, the audio part? For that, we need to go and switch between the tools. This is the quick swipe function, and this is the edit function. If I want to change something, add something, move something inside that take folder, I need to go to the edit mode, and then I can see, ah, I got a little pickup here I missed. Um, or if I would want to move this whole thing a bar over, I can do so, but only if it's in edit mode. Sometimes we have an eight bar phrase and the same note appears again, uh, say instead of bar one, at bar five again. So may maybe I messed up my second half, so I can take this part two, I select it with the command click tool, which is the marquee tool here, and then I drag it over to bar five, to go back to swiping, go click here, and now I can select whatever. Maybe it's just that one note that I messed up. So the last thing we have to do is we have to make the transitions between these different sections smoother. Inside the folder, Logic creates automatic crossfades, but I can't fade a take folder. I can fade an audio file, but not a folder. I cannot try to fade this because it's not sound. It's just a folder holding different takes. Okay, so how do we do that? There is a really useful function called track alternatives. So once I have laid out my base and I'm pretty happy with it, I'm gonna go option T and add this function track alternatives to my track menu. And you see this little double arrow and it's kind of like a take folder, but on a, on a track level. So here I'm gonna go duplicate. This is my base mostly with take folders. I'm gonna go duplicate this I made all the selections I want, but I want to leave them now. So here, if I want to get out of this take folder and show the actual selections, I have to do something called flattening. Click on the menu and go flatten. And because I do this all the time, I set up a shortcut. If you go Option K and type in the word flatten, it shows you if there's a shortcut available. Control F was available, so I can go learn by key label, Control F. If I use something that's already in use, it will warn me. I don't want to do that. And now, instead of going with one and clicking on this menu every time, I just go highlight all these guys, go Control F, and you see the take folders are gone. Why is this good? Because now I can make this final transitions between the different sections. If I solo this here. Yeah, that sounds okay. Here. Where is that best transition? And once I have that, I need to make a fade, fade tool or control shift and drag. That was not good, wrong note. So I need to stretch this out. In order to delete what's underneath, I go no overlap. And so I can go here. So now it got rid of what's underneath. Okay, do this with the whole track, find the best transitions, make sure the fades are good and your track is ready to go. If I mess up something or I need a part for a different section because we say extend the last chorus, I can always go back and find my take folders. That's track alternative A and I can always have a backdoor to fix things. So I hope this makes sense can comp to find the best take inside a take folder and you can use a track alternative to create a whole different variation of the same track 
including take folders and no take folders. Finally, I might glue this all together and create a bass stem for the whole track once I know the track, the song is standing in the right place. Okay, I hope this helps and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this made sense and gives you the tools and skills to edit things very quickly in the future without spending much time and messing up your song. If you want to dig deeper, feel free to check out my Udemy course, where I start from the very beginning of writing a song to the end of the production and take you step by step through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day. No matter what, stay unapologetically creative.